madness. Yeah! everyone welcome to hormones vinyl madness episode 28 well i went to um a couple of rec record shops last week and i uh, went to replay records and rhubarb records i've got four from replay i'm gonna go through them right now first one is a pickwick release of the beach boys album it's just called the beach boys I'm going to go through these fairly quick as um, I have quite a few, few to get through. So, next one moving right along, we've got Booker T's and the MG's Greatest Hits. I like me a bit of Booker T. And I will show this one because it's on the Stax label. I don't have many on the Stax label. That. Oh, good, Nick. So I was pleased to find that. T and the MG's greatest hits. Let's get you right back in there. It's a bit of a haul that I, I've got. I've got quite a few cheap albums, so I went mad, and uh, so I've got a few to get through. The next one is in excellent condition Debbie Harry's vinyl uh, Deb Debbie Harry's solo album Rock Bird looking real nice on the cover there the back cover this is in pretty much brand new condition I would say close to mint see all the words there oops a bit of glare and the vinyl's in excellent condition. I was pleased to find that. That'll be getting filed with my Blondie collection. I know it's a solo album, but you know. Now this one I've been after for a while, and a lot of you may have it, I don't know, but I hear the old song on, on the radio every now and then. I think, I must get that album, and I've never seen it. Well, this, this particular expedition I did and it's Peter Frampton 76, I think it was 76 release. Around there anyway. Frampton comes alive. Get that like that. This is in pretty good condition. Um, both both the albums, double album of course. Gatefold, I will show you that bit. Come on. It's in pretty good order. Um, get my vocals on there. Oh, a and M. No scratches on the vinyl. They need, it needs a clean, you know. They need a, they all need a clean. I was pleased to get that. I, I, I never had it in the day. I don't have it on CD. But uh, I thought I'd like to get that album. And uh, finally I found a copy of it. And it's in good order. So... That was good. Then I moseyed on over to Eastwick Park to Rhubarb Records and uh, I had a good time. I've got a couple of brand new ones here. First one was uh, Paul Weller's debut release. When did this come out? Let me just lift my glasses. 1995. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, it's his debut solo album after the Star Council and it's Stanley Road. Played this a few times since I, I bought it and uh, it's a great album. I've forgotten, I did have a pirate version of this on CD and I've forgotten how good the album is. Gatefold there. Um, it is a really good album, I really enjoyed it. 
so uh, I played it again today uh, while I was setting up the, the lights and stuff and uh, really enjoyed it great album Paul Weller Stanley Road moving on this one I had on CD and uh, I spotted it then I thought you know what I'm collecting the B52 so I'll grab it I, I believe it was their last release in 2007 or 2008 and it's Thumplex not a bad album you know it's a B52's album plods along as you would expect and also the uh, CD they gave you the CD with it CD version of the album and the mp3 downloads are also on that CD if you want to do that so that's pretty comprehensive there next one is a record store day release that uh, Dylan still had in the store I thought you know what I'll grab that and try it it's all French artists and it's called girls in the garage and this is volume 10 so there's quite a few of them uh, and it's uh, uh, Gaelic Girl Garage Groups from the 60s, Volume 10. Not bad, there's some good stuff on it. And it, it's a coloured vinyl, so we'll get it out, we'll have a quick gansy. You got this with it, explaining a bit about each girl, each uh, group, you know. And it was on a nice gold vinyl, nice and uh, 180 grand. Didn't realise that until I opened it, so that's always a little bonus in it. Oh, look at that, it's gold. Lovely. It's got a bit of a black flex to it, you know. Um, and it's not bad, you know, something different to throw on if you've got friends over or you just feel like different. It's 60s style garage stuff, but, uh, you know, I, I guess being uh, French language stuff makes it different, doesn't it, you know. Bonjour. So yeah, Girls in the Garage, I, I was pleased with that, so I will be looking around for the, some of the other volumes for that. The next one, I keep saying I'm not I'm not a huge Sherbet fan, but I was in uh, Rhubarb Records and his, his uh, used vinyl is always in excellent condition, you know, and this was $5, one of their big releases of 1974, it's the album Slipstream. And, uh, the gate bowl. Bowl's in pristine condition. I don't know if you can tell it. They've got their makeup, they've got their 1974 makeup on there, I don't know if you can see it. And it's got to, it opens up with a great the great song Slipstream. That really is one of their better songs. And the side two opens up with Silvery Moon, which is also a really great song. Uh, great playing and just great melodies on those two. There's a couple of good other good songs on the album. And a couple of what I call dodgy ones, but for five dollars, I was pleased to pick that up. So I guess I'm going to probably end up picking up their whole catalogue the way I'm going. That's that's the third one. So what the heck, you know? If I can get it for that, why not? This one I got because of the song "Simple Simon" or "Simon Says." I always used to play that when I was little. I used to go to the soccer club stomps. They were called soccer club stomps back in the early 70s. I I'd be shipped off with my sister to McClarty Hall in Safety Bay, uh, a suburb of Rockingham, where I grew up, and uh, they'd always play that song, Simon Says, so I thought, you know what, I'll grab that. But this is uh, an album, one side's 1910 Fruit Gum Company, and side two's Ohio Express, and it's very bubblegum, you know, but uh, I like the recordings actually, I like listening to because a lot of that stuff was live really and with, with a few overdubs, you know. So that was a good little pick up, wasn't overly expensive, $10. Uh, but it, in very good condition, the vinyl was in good condition too. And it seems to me Dylan always seems to clean his stuff, put them in these new bags and uh, most of them seem to come with new inner sleeves too, which is good. The next one I got for $5, in pretty much pristine condition, really, for its age, was the debut album from The Pretenders. So I was pleased to get that. Come with the inner sleeve. And uh, played this uh, last break, so about four days ago. And uh, not bad at all, sounded pretty good, you know. 
uh, pretty very clean sounding um, no crackles and pops there so wherever he's getting his second hand vinyl from I think he must really inspect it I don't know but he's getting getting good quality stuff and uh, charging really reasonable prices for it you know so that was a good pickup got a few uh, pretenders now so I'm slowly getting their their collection the one I got from Rhubarb was the Beach Boys a Little Deuce Coop. Now this is also a Pickwick release. So I, I'm not sure if these are the original album covers. I would say they're not, but I'm just guessing. I um, haven't played this yet, but it does look to be in good order. The co uh, cover needs glue in here. Oops, I'll show you. Just where the glue's come away there, but I use a glue stick on that and that'll come good, you know. Besides that, it's a little bit dirty, but um, in pretty good nick. Uh, not sure the release time of these albums, but uh, it's a quick, quick label. Oh, yeah, that's in pretty good order. That so, my Beach Boys collection is starting to look nice and healthy now. Um, really, uh, put that in there. Look at that. I don't know if I stuck my tongue out then. That's probably why it was a bit hard. I didn't stick my tongue out. You got to do that when you know trying to get it in the next and la final album I didn't really like this song back in the day I think it was 1980 81 round there it was after I started work and I saw the album there so I thought well that's in really good nick what do I pay for? this was a tenner ten dollars Australian I'm always talking in Australian when I say dollars okay so it's a lot less than US dollars of course I think it's probably on parody with the Canadian dollar would be pretty close um, but this is the Steve Miller album Steve Miller band album Abracadabra um, I, I'll give it a listen and I didn't mind it actually um, laid back middle of the road sort of stuff I guess would that be fair I mean that in a nice way uh, the albums in pristine condition it's on Mercury um, Abracadabra I think it was quite a sizeable hit here in Australia they were always playing it I just didn't like it I thought it was corny but I've heard it a few times and I thought well it's not so bad I quite like it now your taste changed don't they so um, yeah I um, having seen the album there and it is in such good order I mean the vinyl's pristine I, I thought well, I'll buy that 10 bucks you know sort of I was well within budget um, for the day I I wanted to spend no more than 200 I haven't been out for a while um, I, actually I probably wasn't in budget because I bought a couple of new ones so scrap all that <laughs> as far as the second hand ones go I was in budget I suppose well in but uh, yeah so it was a good day I um, had a good time I went with Miss Squeak and a friend of ours Lisa and uh, we had a lot of fun. I was planning on filming the day and if I find any decent footage to mix into this I'll I'll put it in but I got sidetracked and uh, kept forgetting to film to be honest so uh, that happens doesn't it. Anyway it was a good haul, a uh, good boost to my collection there. I hope everyone's doing well. I've gone up to 219 subscribers now so I'm absolutely thrilled with that. Thank you very much to all the new and old subscribers. I really appreciate all of you. Um, it, uh, it's not easy getting subscribers, so thank you very much. Um, um, I've got the new song coming out. I haven't put it up yet, but I'm off now, so I'm off work for a couple of days, so I will get it up and get it out. Um, please check out our song links in the uh, description down below if you click on those links you're under no obligation to buy anything just have a you can have a listen to each song and see what you think and uh, take it from there you know this is hormone house saying thanks very much for watching hormones vinyl madness episode as i say volume then episode 28 stay safe keep spinning see you next time ciao thank you